This is Code.org, and this is Loop Practice. Well, loop stuff. We're going to be doing loops, repeat blocks. We're good at them. We will be good at them. Let's go. Let's see what we're doing. Help the bee collect the nectar. We can do that. All right, so we have one block on our screen, the run block, and we can use up to five. So let's see. One, two. All right, I'm just going to throw blocks down. The great thing about code, guys, you can be wrong. So let's see. Yep, that's working so far. I can also always use step to just to see how one block works. So I move forward and it looks like I need to go forward four, right? One, two, three, four. And let's hit run and see what's going on here. Now I've already used five blocks. Ooh, and I hurt my head. So, oh yeah, I need to step three times, but I'm not picking up the flowers yet, right? So if I need to do that, let's see, I've got to do step once. Is there any flower there? Do I need to get nectar? Hmm, no, right? I'm not on a flower. Let me step again. Oh, during this block, I'm on top of a flower. So I bet I should get nectar right here. All right, but let's see. Oh, then I would move forward. I bet I should get nectar right there. Now this is right, but I have an issue. Six out of five blocks used. That's one more than I'm supposed to. You see how this is only kind of green, right? That's an issue. We haven't done it yet. Whoops. You're going to go back. Thank you. So what we need to do is figure out how to make this five or less blocks. In code, if you are repeating yourself, there's probably an easier way. Quetcha. Move forward, get nectar. Move forward, get nectar. The first move forward doesn't repeat, right? The patterns move forward, get nectar. So what if I did this? I'm going to use this pink mouth thing. I'm going to slap a two in it. And I'm going to drop this here. Quetcha. Now what's going to happen? Well, the computer should move forward. And it sees everything in this pink mouth thing. The computer goes, ah. I got to go two times. So it will drop down and let's step. Move forward, check. Oh yeah, move forward. Then what does it do? I get the nectar. I hit the bottom of this pink mouth thing and go zoop. And then I go back to move forward, get the nectar. We're under five blocks and we did it. Onward. All right, now we can use a repeat loop to collect all the nectar. Well, we just did that. So we have one block in our workspace. Oh, there's four this time. All right. First, I'm going to get there. I'm just going to throw stuff down. It looks like two steps to me. Let's see. One and two. Correct. All right. So we got there, but now I need to get the nectar. I'm just going to put all the code first. Before trying repeats, it's sometimes easier just to eyeball it. And that's what I'm going to do. I think I need four, right? One, two, three, four. And I could even step through this. Notice I have seven blocks and I'm only supposed to use five. But let's hit step. Move forward. Yep. Move forward. Once. Twice three times and now I completed it but let me reset because I have too many blocks in code if you are repeating yourself there is an easier way well look I hope you're saying Mr. Kaiser get nectar get nectar get nectar four times it's a waste and it is I can get rid of all of those slap a repeat right here drop this inside and I need it four times now what will happen we'll move forward once right and we'll move forward again. Then we're going to hit our repeat block. Oh, and what do we do? Well, everything in this pink mouth thing has to run four times. So one time I get nectar. Now it's down. I get it again. And finally, one last time. Now I got all the nectar. I'm going to hit reset. Some of you might say, well, what about it? There's two move forwards. What if I do this? The reason I didn't is because this right now, I want you to see this, is five blocks. Now, if I use a repeat up here just for the two, it's correct, I guess, but you're not saving any blocks, right? So I'm still using five because one blocks the repeat, one's move forward. Up to you, both are right. Let's keep going. All right, that flower looks tasty. Yes, it does. Now use a replot block to move quickly to the flower and get the nectar. Okay, so I only have one block on my screen and I can use up to four. I'm going to do what I always do. You are allowed to test and be wrong and try a bunch of stuff in code. That's what I'm about to do. Move forward once, twice. I'm not sure. Three times. Let's do four. Does that get me there? And I'm already ahead. Okay, I don't hit the wall. So that gets me there. I know I'm ahead. We're just testing stuff. Oh, but I only need to get one nectar. So if you slap this down, will I get the nectar? Yeah, yeah, I will, right? Yay. However, this goes kind of green. We want to have it in less than four blocks. What you got to look for right away is repeated code. Well, wait a minute. One move forward, two move forward, three move forward, four move forward. One, two, and four. What if instead we grab this guy, this repeat? 
I'm going to slap a 4 in here, and I'm going to drop a move forward there. So what this pink mouth thing does, everything in this pink mouth thing is now has to run four times. So instead of putting move forward there four times, we do it just by doing this. Once this loop is done running, once this repeat is over, if I attach something down here, it's going to happen next. So now I'm going to move forward four times, right? So once, it's going to do it again because it hits the bottom and says, oh yeah, I've done it once. I need three more times. I got to do four. Move forward again. Oh, that's twice. Hits the bottom. Up oh, two more times. Up oh, that's three times. Hits the bottom. Goes back around one more time. Once it runs this one more time, though, it hits the bottom and says, okay, that was four times. Yep, we ran four times. We're done. And so then it just drops to the next block. And we should now get, right, that's time four. Choop, boop, get nectar. We did it. Onward. And now what do we have? Help the bee collect all the nectar. Okay. Let's see what we have. Okay, so I have win run. I can use up to 15 blocks. That seems way too many, but let's give it a shot. All right, so let's go ahead, and it looks like I need to move forward. I'm just going to start throwing blocks down, right? So I need to move forward four. I'm going to do that. Okay, now I can step through it. When do I need to get nectar? Move forward one, move forward two. Oh, I'm on top of this. So I know right away, okay, you're on a flower, right? I don't have to think too hard. I can just watch it go. Now, after I get the nectar, I'll move forward one more time, and I'll be on another flower. So let me do this. Let's hit run, and I'm going to smack my head against a wall. Boop, boop, smack. So I have too many here. What should I do after this? And I'm just going to keep, I know I'm going to get over, but that's fine. I'm going to now want to turn right. Okay. And we can do this line by line. This is actually something programmers do all the time. It's how you make sure you don't have errors when you're testing stuff. All right, so I'll move forward one more, two more, three more, and it looks like I need to get nectar here. Am I certain? Heck no. Let's try. Step. Yep, move forward. Step. Yep, move forward. Get the nectar. That looks good. Move forward. Hmm, is that right? Yep, good. Now I got to turn right. Good. I always mix those up. I got to move forward once, move forward twice, and now what? Up. Oh, I skipped it, guys. And this is why you test. I didn't even mean to do that. This is how programming works. You make mistakes. So I just went over a flower. Let me do get nectar, right? And let me do move forward. And then I look like get nectar. And then I'm going to turn right again. It's a square. And I think I'll move forward once and twice and get nectar. Let's see what this does. Ah, okay. So I need to move forward and get nectar. And then what will I do? Well, then I'll turn right. I hope alarm bells are going off for you guys. This is a square. All the sides are the same, right? Even, let's see. Let's just double check what I'm saying. Move forward twice, get nectar. Move forward, get nectar. Turn right. So let me grab this now. Oh, what do I do? Oh, then I move forward twice and I get nectar. Oh, then I move forward, then I get nectar, then I turn right. Then what do I do? Oh, then I move forward. And you see what I mean here? You might not have turn right at the end. There's no flowers up here. I don't have to go all the way around. But if we do turn right, it won't matter. That's okay. Well, if I have all this, it's going to be way too much code, right? I'm over the line here. And that's why it's super handy just to start coding so you can see how it works and then go back and add repeats. One, two, three. So now I know I need to do this three times. I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to get rid of that. And I'll just drop this here. Boom. Three times in a row. Let's go. Victory onward. Let's work through these. Get nectar. Now this I bet, yep, this is going to look similar to what we just did. So now I can only use six blocks. We got this. I'm going to start how I have been and not try to use a loop at first. There's a clue here. They want us to only use move forward twice. Well, I'm going to go way over that. Oh, wait. We start on neck uh, on a, on a flower, so I'm gonna go ahead and get nectar right away, right? And then I'm gonna move forward, and once I move forward, I'll be on a flower. Get nectar, okay? Then what? Then I'm gonna move forward, and then I'm gonna get nectar, and it's gonna yell at me because I've already used all my move forwards. But I don't care. Let's try this out. Step. Yep. Get nectar. That's a zero. Move forward. Check. Get nectar. Yep. Good. Move forward. Yep. Get nectar. Check. And I should get nectar here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We get it. We get it. And this is what's great about code. We can be wrong. So now what am I going to want to do? I'm going to want to turn right. 
Then what do I do? Okay, well, once I'm over here, I need to move forward one, it looks like, and get nectar. Then what? Well, looks like the same thing, right? Move forward, get nectar. Then what? Move forward. And who knows? Maybe I'm wrong. Let's see where we're at. And I'm way over on blocks. That's fine. So far, so good. Now what am I going to do? Well, I'm going to turn right. And now I want to look for patterns. Obviously, this is going a bit haywire. So let's see for repeated blocks. Well, I see one spot, obviously. A square has four sides. So we're probably going to run the same code, especially since there's flowers all the way around, right? They're all in the same spot four times in a row. So how do I know when a side ends? I turn right. Wait a minute. Boom. Move forward, get nectar. Move forward, get nectar. Move forward, get nectar. And I wonder... So the one hang up here is this get nectar at the beginning. What if I ignore that I'm on nectar right now and I move forward first? What would that do? One, two, three. Turn right. I'm going to get rid of that because now they're identical. Let's see where this takes us. So now they're identical. I know I can use a repeat, right? And a square doesn't have... And so now I can do plop and plop, right? So now this will repeat it. Obviously, we don't need to do it five times because a square is not five-sided. It's shockingly four. Now, we're still over on blocks, right? I know this will work, right? Four times in a row, it's going to run through this code. It hits the bottom, goes back to the top, and we'll keep going. But we're still over. Let's look for more repeats. Up, oh, move forward, get nectar. Move forward, get nectar move forward, get nectar. So turn right's different, but these other I do three times in a row, which means I can use, and they give us a little hint, another repeat. I'm going to use three. And you can put a repeat inside of a repeat. So let me get rid of these other two. Now keep in mind, I moved forward, got nectar three times, which this does. But after I did those three, I need to turn right. Move forward, get nectar three times, then turn right. So now, four times in a row, and I'm going to step through this. Step. Oh, what's it do? It says, oh, I need to do this four times. Okay, what do I do four times? Well, first, three times in a row, I move forward. So I move forward. I get nectar. It hits this bottom of this th three loop and says, oh, yeah, I need to do this two more times. Zoop. So I'm going to move forward, get nectar. Hits the bottom one more time. Move forward, get nectar. And now I've done this three times. So it's going to hit the bottom and go, nope, I've done it three times and drop below. I turn right, now it hits the bottom of this outer loop, and I've only run through this once so far, right? Out of the four, one time, it goes back around, says, oh yeah, I need a repeat, and we'll go all the way. But da uh, Victory. Onward. No challenges, we're all done. If you want to take a look at these other practice lessons, make sure to look out for that video.